Our belief here at IMG is all about what the student really is trying to achieve. First of all, I want to improve my grades. I want to improve my growth. Most important, I want to improve my game. And those are the foundations of what we build the program on. I'm Allie Hutchinson in the residential hall where I start my mornings every day. I get up at 7 and then come over to see my lovely house parents. I think when you arrive to the campus, immediately you feel like you're in an Olympic village. It's incredible. Everyone has that drive here and you can just see it when you walk on campus, the feel that everyone here wants to get better, everyone's going to push a little bit harder to reach their goals. And that really stuck out to me when I first came here. The key here at IMG Academy with the, the balance of life, sport and academics that you can achieve is different from any other high school in the country. Everyone here is ambitious. They've all got the drive to be better tomorrow than today. That's the common fact here. We go to sport for four hours, we go to school for four hours, and then in between that we're either taking naps, we're eating, or we're doing homework. I think anybody with any ambition, anybody with a real passion to be successful in golf, you have to come to a facility like this that really focuses on developing your academic skills, your athletic skills, and your character skills. Because outside in that big arena, you're going to need all three. Well, one of the great things about our campus here is we have everything here on site, and especially for a golfer. The training facility, which encompasses the driving range and the short game area that we train on every day, is right in the centre of campus. I have a wedge shot to the dorms where the golfers sleep. I've got a, a short pit shot to the campus centre where everyone eats. At IMG, everything is in our full reach. You know, I walk two feet to school, I walk two feet to the calf. I don't have to get on a bus to go use my facilities. Just arrived at the golf building, which is where I start my mornings every day. So we're gonna head over to the mental conditioning rooms. Here, we're taught different things to help us on the golf course when we're faced with situations that we really can't control, which is the majority of the game of golf. We currently have about 140 full-time students here at the academy. Our typical week, you're going to spend three days of the week here training at the facility. You're going to have two, two course days during the week and then on the weekend you can also come practice, train and play 18 holes at the golf course. When I first came here, I had a swing, I could whack a ball around, I had the natural ability that they said, but I really couldn't score well. I um, didn't have the confidence, I didn't have the knowledge of the game, the course management. Um, so my first year was really kind of just getting to know myself as a player. And then as I went into my sophomore year, I really started to develop my swing and break down the mechanics more and same thing going into this year. Some of the coaches out here, we got Jay over here. The coaches, I could say, are outstanding. Um, I've had one of the best coaches I've ever had this year. Um, I mean, he teaches me life lessons on a daily basis and who he is, and I kind of want to incorporate who he is into my life and his values, because they honestly do more for us than just golf. exactly the tour average right there. So that's very, very good, Jason. Over here is our pitching area. We have targets from 50 to 100. Over here is just two of the three of our putting greens. The first green you see um, has a variety of different slopes, breaks, all that kind of fun stuff. Along the greens, we have a variety of different bunkers with different lips, different sizes. So the game has changed a lot over the years. Everybody hits the ball a lot further due to technology and there's a lot of training out there that's available Thanks now. So Typically as a golf student here, I mean, we've got to look at the key factors. There are technical aspects involved in golf. This right here is the hitting bay. We actually have track man in there. Um, so we'll hit out from there onto the range and we get our numbers, our club head speed. We have the very latest equipment here from the latest track man to force plates. 
to the latest fitting equipment. So no matter what level, what age, what ability, you're gonna get the chance to work with the latest technology to get the very most out of your game. And we're gonna head into the tour studio, which is by far the coolest place on campus. So many different heads and shafts that you can get club fitted for. Some of the best club fitters in the world come here to use this stuff. We have Trackman over here where you test out the new clubs. And then we have Sam Putt, where we come in here a lot actually with our coaches and we use this to work on our putting. Yeah, there's really no other better place to train, especially when it's hot outside. We'll come in here with our coaches or if it's raining. We love having our alumni come back that are successful and play professionally and talk about their experience here at the academy and also talk about their experiences in college and as a pro so that the students can look up to that and learn and relate to it. In the next few months I'm bringing in one of my pupils, Colin Montgomery, who will come not only to practice and use the facilities but share his advice and his experiences to hand down to the students. People here at IMG and they think you go there to, you know, get better at your sport and you're either going to be the next LeBron James, Tiger Woods, like they, we have the best of the best here and the thing is there's a lot of us here that come here and we are good athletes but we also do a lot in the classroom and the experiences you get here, the relationships you build. Our athletes when they leave IMG Academy are very prepared for college life as a freshman. Alright, we're about to walk into the academic building where uh, I come here at 1.15 every day because I'm in afternoon school. Um, and we do block scheduling here, so my classes are an hour and a half each. So we do offer like APs here. Um, you know, we do have art classes, we have music classes. It's just like any other school, except for we don't have seven periods a day. There's so much cool stuff that happens on this campus. So we're about to walk into the CAF. Here we have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, we hang out with friends, come in here during office hours or our free periods in school. So we're making our way into the rec center and over here we have the sand volleyball court, the basketball court, and then over here is the pool with the big screen where we'd have watch parties for the Super Bowl, the Masters. I, I would say probably when I walked into the weight room last year and I saw the entire Raiders football team in there, that was interesting. So we're in the Performance Center where we do our workouts. Um, we work out three times a week. You know, some of the guys that just got drafted in the MLB, like, oh, I sat next to one of them freshman year in Spanish. Can't really get that anywhere else. We had our graduating class this last month in June, and there were over 65 different countries recognized with students graduating. So it's a very diverse academy with students from all over the world, but they all seem to get on really well. And I think it's that diverse culture that really helps you grow as an individual athlete here. We do have so many kids from different cultures here and I can say that my best friends that are not American, I have learned so much from them and just have more of an open mind than I did when I first came here. We come here and we leave different, not just in our sport, but us as individuals. There's a lot of people who like the idea of being good, being great, but don't always like the process. And I think what IMG Academy teaches you is it educates you in the importance of the process, the need of the process, and the value in the process to be successful.